it. Don't try to hold up your arms too much. Don't take in all the space. Just be supportive. And as you support them and they feel lighter, it's not to you because you try to feel, not just that you're giving in one direction, but you guys are receiving together. Right? Feel that lightness? Doesn't that feel good? And then, oh no, what's going to happen is when this goes away, you're going to have to work your legs more. Right? You're going to realize again that you weren't working your legs to work your arms. You feel that change? Gravity comes back? Good. And you take the arms Switch. This class goes to nine. <laughs> and I'm just the guy to do it. I'm the guy to do it. Yeah. So you be in space. You get bigger in space. Hey. That's good, right? And then you struggle a little bit. Right? I don't think you're totally good with that. Sorry, you're right behind me. Right? Like this. Right? All right. And then support on the other side of the water. Be, as you help, be part of it. Listen to the next. Right? Be connected. Share stuff. What the hell? These two guys are going to do that in each other. It's kind of crazy. Now, as you get that relief, lift your chest. And then travel out through your arms and connect your legs. And realize that your base has to work a little harder for you to be able to feel this kind of support. You have to be grounded in order to be supported. These are the truths. All right, so as the, as the support goes away, so you gotta work a little harder. Here comes gravity, Crap. right? Good, and then take your arms down. You have to be grounded more to realize support. Think about that for a second. Stand back in Tadasana, face forward. This way. Quickly come up. Come up front. Those of you can move. Come up front. I want you to watch from the front. Right? So, Joe's going to take... Come on. Quick. Come on. Quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Right? Seriously. Move fast. I have no need to do this. I have no need to do this. Right? Alright. So, you're going to do something front and then you're going to do something front. So, Joe, Joe is one of our best friends, right? We're all one of our best friends. We're going to do it back. So, he's going to take his arms wide. Joe's a guy that I've been um, transferring. He's got these five years of therapy. He's been transferring the whole thing. We're going to go down to his parallel side. Now he's going to live with his chest. He's going to look like that. So, Here's, here's this, so like we're gonna have two supports there, and we gotta know that we can feel it, right? Because we just had it. And that that was an opportunity to feel it. And to lift the chest. Here comes Joe, you can see it coming. He's a really good student. You can take your knee and distribute it across his whole body, right? So now, if you add something, she's gonna really push it on his knees. And what's gonna be crazy is that as she pushes it on his knees and keeps her chest lifted, and she stays grounded and doesn't work or help her out. His arms are going to get lighter because he's bringing energy into his spine and he's going out from his legs. You think he can connect him up to the top of his head right now? You felt the level just now that I talked about. Oh my God, this is a thing in the medical world. We're not helping people recover this part of their expansion. We're not helping elderly people feel how to live through their whole body. This is not just a function of exercise. It's a function of a group. Right? And as this goes, I have two of them up here. Boom. And that is down here. And he's kind of like the fact that he's over here. There you go. So you see the lift of his chest. He's kind of from the room now. He's actually lifting his chest. And I know he's, he lifts his chest and feels like more. Just like me. And then take your arms back here. Alright? So that idea of getting reference here in the spine of the top. Is a really good thing. So, what we're going to do here is partner up again. So, Chris, take your arms up. It's going to be kind of weird for some of you. Right? So, take your arms and legs wide. And you have trust. Take your arms and legs wide. Wide. So, what are you doing? You're going to be able to These are both assistants for that. She's got a faculty. She's an assistant. They're both wrong. Right? You're going to take your hands. 
So just for a second, we're about to end here, but just for a second, take that in. That when the, when the, when the adjustment went away, your arms got heavier. Right? That the effect of gravity got heavier when you didn't have the adjustment. That's what's happening in the inversion. That's how we teach inversion. We help them realize the subtlety of how energy flows and how things move through gravity. So we don't have to actually have them go upside down. We show them the truth of it without going upside down. Now, think about it. You know what we did? You pinned your hips, but that's really just giving support and reference around your light chakra. That's where light comes from. That's where we make babies. That's like a really important part of the spine. We gave it reference and your arms got lighter. Take that in. It's stunning. You should go around with like belting your hips at work, for God's sake. <laughs> you know? But there's nothing like some annoying co-workers to take light parts right out of you. <laughs> Keep the reference back up. Alright, so um, you is and you. So come on, you're gonna end this way. Right? So you're gonna land with the other one. Yep. So this actually, what we're about to do yep. here, is that there's gonna be skin and they lay down there. Right? There's gonna be there's gonna be stations out there where we're doing these things for anyone that's smart enough to come by. Okay? All right, so one of the things that, and this comes from Mike's, Joe was a ballroom dancer and I didn't know it. One time I made the mistake of saying to Joe, well, he's not the most, the most rhythmic guy, right? Because he was like this kind of very serious third guy. He said, that, pardon me, like, I'm a ballroom dancer. And so I started to explore rhythm. And one of the things I figured out is that people with disability and people of age are not having a rhythm in their body. Right, and I don't mean rhythm on the outside, I mean right into your spine. So what you're going to do, come on close, like you've got to let go of the weight of your legs to somebody else. You have to let it go, okay? And then Mary Pat's going to up, stand up, and you're going to go to where you start to feel resistance, and then you're just going to start to rock back and forth. Because I want rhythm to go directly into your spine. I want rhythm, we do this at Current Center, I want rhythm to go directly into the spines of the people they are serving. How about your mom or your grandparents? Are they getting anyone making sure they're feeling the sway and the sharedness? This feels great, so as you're smiling, you're gonna love this. Why do you think we rock babies? Why do you think we hold them and swaddle them and then rock them? Because it's fantastic, you turn around the other way and pin them this way. Because when you get surrounded and rhythm happens in the mind body relationship, you feel better. These are the simple insights you should be taking home in your head. And they all come out of that class with them. Because we had to innovate and explore and figure out how to communicate and translate from yoga through their body, through my body. So do this, this feels great. If I, I might rock to this paper to see who goes second. <laughs> and then make sure if you're the second person, be on your own mat.
So you're going back and forth. The question is, some of you totally suck at giving the weight of your legs. This person needs a partner. Right? So you're, just going, you're trying to find a rhythm. You're trying to not move too fast. Yeah, you feel the difference, right? Agree, like there you go. And then come to the center. If you want to turn and face the other way quick, you can try that. Right? Turns out that sometimes facing the other way is easier on the adjuster. Right? Which matters. And then honor the center. When you're like pretty thinking, because we gotta switch and then we gotta be done here. Honor the center. So again, this whole innovation in the last four or five years about rhythm has come from me trying to teach Joe. Because it, he made me start to think about rhythm differently. Instead of thinking about it in terms of moving his outer body, I had to start thinking about how to move it inward into his spine. You are supporting the very heart and core of mind-body solutions by being what you just did in this month, right? And then be in the center and switch. So you, when you pull their leg, when you descend their leg, put them down long and pull on the heel, pull their back up. Pull it long and descend it down. I should have said that before. Switch it up. So if you stand up and lift your chest, it's going to be better on you, right? You feel that, how that's better? Instead of hanging over, right? Yeah. It, so, yeah. Totally. He needs that so he doesn't have to worry about working so hard and he gets rhythm back in. Yeah, totally. Totally love it. And then if you want to face the other way, turn and go the other way, right? Yeah, so we put it up a little higher because she's got to do it. Then then lean into you, like straight up, yes, yeah. And so you can just go back and forth a little bit, right? And then always, Honor the center, right? Always. When you're done, be in the center. Pause there. Pull their legs down long. And then everybody, Shavasana. Lay down. You don't have to. That's too much work. Well then, well, well then go, you go sit on the bench instead and just rest on the bench. Yeah. So now you really have to let yourself go. Learning to surrender your weight. Learning, and everybody now, and, and Yoga teachers in the room, you gotta learn how to do Shavasana and teach Savasana while you're sitting up to someone sitting. But that's part of our adaptive yoga training that I want all of you to come to. Right? Alright, so learning to surrender your weight to the floor is a life skill. Trusting the floor. What does trust feel like as a mind-body sensation? Well, I think in Shavasana, you're exploring it. Let your body land. Just 
turns out that as your back body sinks into the floor, maybe as you really surrender, you start to feel a slight feeling of levitation. But it's not off the floor. It's between your front and your back. In you, it's getting lighter because you're letting go. Don't be afraid of that. Let, put your mind, feel into your ankles, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists. There's quiet in the center of your joints. Let it sigh. Let it land. Your mind's a little bit afraid of trust. It has to let go, so soften the skin on your face, around your temples. Relax your jaw, the inside of your mouth. Re-allow the body to hum. There's a hum. Your limbs are like rivers. Let it flow. Feel your breath. Don't change it. Thank your body. There's a part of Shavasana that's collective. Feel your tribe. Feel a tribe right now. They're with you in the room right now. People in this room care. It's really good to be around. Start to bring yourself back. Slightly deeper inhalation. Slightly longer exhalation. When you're ready, and if you can, bend from the elbows and place your hands lightly under your ribcage or abdomen. Let, you have, let your energy have boundary again. Locate your body in space again. When you're ready, and if you can, open and close your eyes a couple times, set the light in slowly. If you can, bring your hands in front of you in your prayer. This is how we end an adaptive yoga class. Namaste. When you're ready to begin, bend the left leg, push off, roll over to your right side. Put your right arm under the right ear. Make this a pose. Push off with your left hand, keep your head low, gradually sit up.
So this class was taught a little bit more at U than up here. Because I want you to know for your own case, the truth that we're trying to open across all ability. Because we all need it. We all need it. Let's go eat and start. All right, you guys. So I think as you walk out, you're supposed to grab a glass, right? Am I right about that?